Thank you, Scott. So before uh, Nick and, and Robert come out for Nick's baptism, in a moment we get to watch uh, an exciting video this morning and uh, get to, to have an opportunity to hear Nick's testimony. Uh, and so uh, what I want to do this morning, because we always want to make sure we're very clear when somebody's getting baptized here. We call uh, baptism believer's baptism because it's what the Bible teaches. And so baptism is when somebody has placed their faith in Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord, they're going to publicly profess that faith through baptism. And so Nick this morning, Nick Algier, he's not getting saved, as you would say, as some would say, as he goes into the baptistry waters. He's, he's already trusted and put his faith in Jesus. He's been saved from his sins because the blood of Jesus alone saves us from our sins. So what Nick is doing this morning is he is professing that faith in Christ publicly through baptism. And, and really what is he, he's doing is he's identifying himself first and foremost with Christ, but also with the church. And that's why we don't do baptism uh, on our own out, you know, at, at somewhere else without the church. I don't baptize people by myself. It's a part of the church because he's identifying with the church. And so baptism is a beautiful picture of the gospel. You see, Jesus, when he died on the cross for our sins and he was buried, and then on the third day he rose from the dead. And so baptism is a picture of that. You see, we die to our sins and our old way of life is buried, and then we have a new life in Christ. And so that's why baptism is a picture of that awesome thing that happens when we put our faith in Jesus. And, and really, the water that Nick is going to be baptized in this morning, there's nothing magical about the water. The water itself does not wash away sins. The blood of Jesus washes away our sins. But the baptism is a picture of that. It's a symbol of those sins being washed away when we put our faith in Jesus. And so before we get to celebrate Nick's baptism, I want to encourage you to check out uh, this short video testimony from Nick. And then uh, Nick and his dad, Robert, will come in. And Robert will have the privilege of getting to baptize Nick this morning. When I was born, my mom went to church, but my dad did not. But mom has taken me to many churches. Eventually, when I was at the age of six? No, it was one, or about up to six, I went to Frieden's church. They had something called a Worship and Wonder, which is basically our teen kid, except for the little ones. Uh, that has taught me a lot about Christ, and who he was, and what he did, what the Ten Commandments were, that has taught me a lot of that. My mom has taught me a lot of who Christ was as well. And then at the age of like nine and ten, I just kind of stopped, you could say. I stopped relying on Jesus to guide my life the way it should be guided. Because I was, I, I, I never really, I did stop believing in Jesus. It, it was sort of in the lukewarm. Uh, I knew Christ, but I didn't know him, if that makes sense. Something happened at my mom's house that made me think, wow, Jesus is still there. And I, I just, I was, I just looked back and I'm like, I just forgot about Jesus. I wasn't quite ready enough to be baptized like I've always wanted to do. And it wasn't just to drink and eat. It was to praise Jesus the way that I thought was right, but I wasn't exactly ready as my dad kept telling me, you know, if you want to be a Christian, you gotta, you go, you gotta kind of act like, at least that's the summary of what he was saying. But I didn't quite act like it. I thought that way. I thought like a Christian, but I didn't actually act like a Christian. The gospel, so, Punishment for sin is death. So, but Jesus died on the cross for our sins and beat Satan, and now we can live with him for eternal life. I started thinking about all, of, I started looking back at everything that I said and happened, and I decided to just stop going on my own, and now I'm officially relying on Jesus for literally everything that I do in my life. I think about what he, how he would think of the, of the very action that I'm gonna make. Every time I make a move, I always think, how would he think of this? So baptism is a public 
It is a public message saying that I am a believer, I am no Christ, and I want to be reborn. Amen. So Nick and Robert are going to go ahead and come in now. And uh, this is a, a great celebration because I love, I love what Nick said in that video that it, I'm literally relying on Jesus for everything. That's what it is to be a Christian. We know that we can do nothing good apart from Jesus. And so what a great, great testimony, Nick. So Nick, ha have you trusted in Jesus Christ as your Savior and Lord? And have you repented of your sins and you've uh, decided to follow Jesus and love Jesus with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength for the rest of your life? And do you believe that Jesus is the only way to be forgiven of our sins and to have eternal life? Yes. Well, Nick, because of your profession of faith in Jesus Christ as your Savior and Lord, because he died on the cross for your sins and rose again for your salvation, your dad now has the awesome privilege of baptizing you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So Nate, Nate Morris is going to come up now, and, and uh, Nick sp uh, specifically requested, when, when somebody prays for me after my baptism, can it be Brother Nate? And so Nate's going to come up now and pray for, uh, for that. And, and I, by the way, what a cool example. You know, Nick, Nick, or Nick talked about people that have influenced his life, obviously his parents, his family, his church family. And, you know, good example here of Nate being somebody that has had a good impact on Nick's life, too. So if you would give thanks for Nick's uh, baptism, Nate, and lead us into our time of worship, that'd be awesome. Sarah Moore, don't cry, because I'm <laughs> trying to hold it back myself. But uh, all right, let's go to Lord in prayer. Um, Father God, we are just so thankful that we can come here today to worship you. Father, just what a privilege it is uh, that Nick asked me to pray for him this morning. Father, I I've seen such growth in him just from being, uh, just, you know, from seeing him in games to, you know, to now. Uh, he's an inspiration to me. And he, and uh, I am just so thankful for the work that you've done in him. Father, I just pray that you use him as a light to his friends, to just everybody uh, that's in the darkness right now, Father. And uh, we are just so very thankful for him. We love him so much. It's an honor to be, call him a brother in Christ now. And, uh, but Father, we also just want to pray for our service today. Just pray that it would uh, glorify you, Father. And I just pray that uh, we can take what uh, Pastor Nick teaches us today and apply it to our lives. And we are so thankful for all the blessings that you give us each and every day. And we ask these things through your son, Jesus Christ's name. Amen. <laughs> 